showing you, we're going to be installing a, uh, a four gang box with a switch to turn on and off all of the outlets. It's for plugging in a big screen TV, a stereo, and a DVD player and VCR. And we want to be able to turn them off with a switch instead of turning on off all the devices to protect them from like a power surge when we're not home or just so that the power on, instant on, doesn't stay on all the time. So I'll show you how to do that. We'll be hooking up a single pole switch controlling four outlets. Here in the country I was born in, we use 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps, 14 American gauge, 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps. Black is live, white is neutral, the blue and green is the ground. Red and blue are also live colors. However, you may find white live in a switch loop or a 220-240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. So we'll cut out the box. It's an old work box. The sheetrock is up. And I'll show you how to put this in. So we'll trace our box, we're going to put it in about right here. So we'll trace our box out here. Now we'll make our little lines on the inside here. And we'll cut, a, we'll make our straight line across all those holes here. So I'll make our line here, here, making it straight across here, same across the top. Here's the top line here. Just keep going across to the top. Now we got to cut for these little guys here, these little holes. We're going to put our box right in here. And I'll just make a little mark here, 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 here. So I'll just come down a little bit. Okay, I have to go under that line for these, so I'll bring it down just a bit. And I'll go here, here, here. Here, and then I'll do the same up here. Get okay, lined up with our side, I'll come up here, 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 and these two tabs will swing up and uh, support our box inside the wall. Okay, so we'll start, we'll poke our hole in the wall right here. These little grooves here, like that. Now we've got to come to the bottom here, so we've got to go to that one here and the one here. Okay, I'll get another one. The other one is about right here. 
here. Right to get our thing out. Put our box up here like this. Okay, so we'll mark here, here, and here. a little off of this here. Okay, so now we'll go up and draw our hole. Dropping a wire down to where this box is here. So we'll drill right here of this box and get it back in. The and then we'll staple it across here to go up above the ceiling.
Okay, so our hole is right up here. We'll drop our wire down to our box. It's going to go. And there it is. Okay, so our wire's in the hole here. Okay, we'll put our switch on this end up here. So let's poke our opening out with a screwdriver here. It was so hard, but you know what? You don't let it get hard. You just fight it. And you win. You don't let that win. You don't let the problem win. You, let, you have to win, not the problem. So, there's the one that goes right here. There we go. We have to go in. Okay, we gotta get enough tail in here. Okay, now we can get our wings back in where we gotta get them. Set our box into the wall. So we may have to trim little bits here to make it go. So we got to trim a little here. And I have to find my Phillips screwdriver. If I don't find it, I don't find it. And I don't frustrate. Because if something's missing, it's missing. And you don't get upset and frustrated. I'll just use the uh, screw on it. So you don't get frustrated or upset over anything. Don't let losing stuff and forgetting it. Burden you because that's not going to bring it back or help you at all. And I'm going to have to go buy another Phillips screwdriver. That's all there is to that. It's that simple. I'll just have to go and buy another one. So I'll just use the screw gun. Okay. Strip it all out and bust everything. Okay, our box is nice and solid in the wall. And you know, I have my knife. It's, I'm really happy to have it. If you 
goes hard, it goes hard. Okay, so we'll put all our, I'll bring some more jacket in, so we have plenty here. I'd rather have a little more than not enough. And we'll get all our plastic off and paper off of here. Okay, so we're going to bring our, we're going to go with our white to all of our outlets, and we're going to go to the switch with our first black wire. So we'll clip our black off here. So this is our switch here. Okay, there we go. There's our power coming into the switch. We'll bring our ground wire around the green screw here like this. Close the loop, the uh, direction our screw turns. Continuous neutral will go through our three outlets. And this is our black switched wire to go to all the outlets. So make our loop here. Okay, there's our power coming in to our switch, and these black wires are going to go feed in our outlets. So we can put our switch into the box now. Here in the country I was born in, down is off, up is on. So we got it in the center of our hole here. Okay, so we'll make sure our ground wires are out of the way of everything here. And now we have our ground wire. We're going to keep going across the bottom for all of our outlets. And we're just hooking our outlets up. Okay, we're going to try to do this without any... Uh, using any wire nuts, so we'll score here, and we'll score about right here. OK, 
case we'll make our loops or our copper comes even on both sides here like that we're going to keep our black on this side I'm going to close the screws that we're not going to be using this one does not have the uh, Phillips or the Robertson screws so we have to use our flathead Now I don't use the back stab because that does not make a very good connection. I always like to go on the uh, screws. So this is going to be our first outlet here. Now we can over here and we'll do the same with our white wire. We'll make a score here with our number 12 hole. We'll make another score up here. Okay, so put our white on the uh, silver colored screw here. We'll close our loop the direction our screw turns. And we'll just pull it back to make sure our copper goes under the screw head all the way. That's the most copper you want to have behind your uh, screw head. So now we'll get our ground wire, get it around our green screw here. Okay, I want it to be here. You always put your wire around the screw the direction the screw turns. Like that. Okay, now we can push this into our box. We have our first outlet in. And we'll push it back in. Down away from things here we don't want to touch. I'm going to send this so that when we put the cover on here, we have to make buy a special cover for switching three outlets. The 
Okay, now we have a So we'll make a look with our ground wire again. And we'll cut and score our black and white. I don't know if it should be long enough. If it's not, we'll do something else. So we'll score our white wire here and here. And we'll score our black. Here. Yeah, it might just be long enough to go around and get to our third one. We won't need any wire knots or uh, make our loop the direction of our screw turns and make sure our loops are uh, our insulation lines up on both sides here so we want our insulation to line up even here on both sides and I see a little bit of insulation that got left behind from the stripper so I'll take my knife cut that off Close the screws you're not going to be using. So we'll start with our ground wire on our green screw. Okay, so there's our ground to go to our last outlet. We'll hook our white up. So this will go to our last outlet here. This will come around to our last one here. Close the loop the direction our screw turns here. Make sure we get the copper under the screw head all the way around. Okay. So we have our ground wire and our black wire and our white wire to go to our last outlet. So make sure that's tight. Okay, so we can put this one into the box here.
Okay, now we're ready to hook up our very last outlet here. If you look at the side of an outlet, you'll see a brass set of brass screws. The black wire goes to your brass screw, and that's your narrow slot. The white wire goes to your silver colored screw, which is the wider slot. And of course, the bare wire goes to the green screw, and that's the brown. Always strip with the size that matches the wire you're using so you don't make match. You take off about an inch. Always put your wire around the screw the direction your screw turns. Make sure it's tight. We'll close the screw we're not going to be using. You want it to look like that. Okay, now we can put our last black wire on the brass screw. Close the one we're not using here. The reason I close the screw we're not using is just so that it's not floating out there so that it doesn't touch something we don't want it to touch, mainly with metal boxes. And now we can push it into our box. With new outlets, the flathead screwdriver doesn't isn't all that bad. When they're all covered with paint, it's hard. And this will be a special cover we have to buy. So we got it all together. So now when we staple above the uh, this, you know, we have to staple it back an inch and a quarter so that if they ever put sheetrock up here, the uh, wire does not get hit by the sheetrock screws or the nails.
nice and flat and straight going across here. I'm look outside and see how much I'm going to need to go over to the box. As close to the middle as I can here. There is a junction box right up here we'll be going into. So this is the junction box we can hook up into. And we have white wires.
This is a plastic push-in wall mix connector. So they're kind of nice. I need one longer than the others here.
Okay, I take a crimp sleeve, I put it in my uh, crimp sleeves like this. Go up my ground wire here. And I'll just bring it down nice and tight. And I'll push it back up into our box. What we're going to do is strip all these wires the same length and just not twist them together and just line them all up evenly and put our wire nut on. So that way I don't crumble the solder wiring that's up here. We have some 14s and some 12s up here we gotta get together. We got all our white wires here. So we got to make sure we get them all even up into here. And we'll stick our wire nut on here. Make sure we get in nice and tight here. So there is all our white wires together. And we'll put a box extension on this. So now we got to get our black wires all together here. I'm going to double check my color, make sure it's off. Yeah, it's all off. Now 
we have two 14s and three 12s. So I'm just going to group them all up here. Wires are very, very short up here, so we're going to bring the black one around and we'll get it over on this side. It doesn't come off easy, you just strip it again. Shorten it a little bit. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, all the wires, and leave them on the end here. Make sure our wire nut goes in all the way here. And grab all our wires inside here. Okay, so we're going to put a box and extension on this box here. We're going to fold our ground wire up into our box here. Now we can put our ground clip back on here.
to know, we're ready to put our extension on here. I'm just going to give our wire nuts an extra twister to make sure they're tight. We gotta put our extension on here and then we put our cover on. And there's our wire running across the uh, top here. Alrighty, so that is how to uh, uh, install a four gang box or a switch and uh, three outlets are controlled by the switch and hook it up to the uh, existing wiring here in the country I was born in. Peace. Thanks for watching.